Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And today I want to talk to you about compelling copywriting. And what does that mean? That is not necessarily content creation. Content creation is usually you're taking your expertise out of your head and you're creating something like a checklist or an ebook or a real book or an online training. It could be that you're putting it into video form or some kind of course or something like that. So content creation can also be creating articles and newsletters for your emails or LinkedIn it could be creating content for your website. But what I find most is creating compelling copywriting for especially your website. Also, emails for sure. Sometimes text messages, if you have a text message campaign with people, and for videos like this, perhaps, right? So how do you make it compelling? What does compelling mean? Compelling means that you are drawing people in and enticing them and inviting them and compelling them to want to take an action with you, to want to do something, to want to click to buy or click and sign up or enter their information or take a next step or comment or whatever it is. Uh, so, but what I find is that most entrepreneurs know their business, they know their products and services, but they aren't always sure what to say, what to write, what to post what to, how to write that copy, how to write that content that's going to have people, prospects, clients, uh, referral sources, compel them to buy or do something. So I love to give tips on how to do that with, uh, and I'm going to get share a couple here, um, but that is one of my geniuses is being able to actually talk through someone's compelling cop content and copy for your web pages, for your videos, for your emails. Uh, I've been known, most of my clients record me every time they get me on a Zoom because I will inevitably say something like, oh, this is what that web should say. And then they can just record it, transcribe it. And nowadays it transcribes itself, right? With AI. And you can just literally use it and go use it. So why do we want compelling content? We don't want salesy content and annoying content necessarily, but what I find is people that are afraid to be too salesy or pushy are hardly pushy. I mean, we don't even know what you're selling sometimes, right? So you're not even doing like even 10% of what you should be doing. Um, and the people that are don't even think about it and are way too salesy or whatever, um, don't realize that they're pushing people away because that's all you're doing is being salesy and pushy and constantly asking people to buy or do something with your service. So there has to be a good, happy medium with your compelling copy. Uh, and I like to start with web pages first, because most of the time, uh, people that know you might call you or send you an email or maybe see you out and about, right? And uh, ask you questions or take the time to learn or ask and find or search for stuff on your website. But the people that don't know you at all are the ones you want to write the compelling copy for. Because sometimes, especially on a website, you may only have three to five seconds to grab someone's attention. And then they're on to the next site because they're searching for something. They're either searching for something or they're haphazardly running through social media and clicking on things. Um, but when they are searching for something, they have a purpose usually, and they're looking for that thing. And if you don't attract them right away with a compelling headline, attention getting headline, or some kind of question, or some kind of bold statement on top, um, it's the way that you're writing and what you're saying, but also the font size that you're using. Sometimes it's just, you go to a website and it's all the same size font throughout the whole thing. And it's like, uh, like nobody wants to read that. Like you need to make it compelling and easy to read, easy to follow, easy to scan. There's a lot of scanners out there. So you want to have bite size information. You might want additional information for someone who wants to really research and read more and learn more. Uh, but sometimes people's, their web pages are just too sparse and they have hardly anything on it. And we don't even know whose website this is because you haven't told us. You're just trying to get us to opt in for something. And sometimes it's too much information to where it's like, oh my God, okay, I don't want to read all this. Just get me to the bottom or whatever, right? And so therefore you might want to strategically place some other kinds of either buttons or forms throughout the web page. So 
there's compelling content, there's placement of things, there's font size, and then there's just the wording that's going to attract your ideal client. And a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners tend to use your words instead of your prospect's words. And so you might use some industry lingo or you're gonna say certain things or you'll even abbreviate things that we don't know what that means off the top of our head. And we don't have time to think about it or research it or look down and read more. You have to be very clear and concise and descriptive with what it is you're due, who you're looking for, how you can help them and why they should pick you or do something today while they're there on the website or watching a video like this, right? So. Those are just some thoughts off the top of my head about compelling copywriting, and it is something to pay attention to. It is something to stop and take time to really, analyze, you know, really sort out. Don't just throw something together like a flyer or an ad or whatever, especially if you're paying money for it, right? I had a client the other day who uh, sent me a full page ad in a magazine that they were going to run that they had designed um, didn't consult me ahead of time, which is fine. Um, but at least they had consulted me before it went to print and I gave them some suggestions for changing it, adding a few things, changing a couple things, um, because the people that design your ads or your posts or your social media or whatever it is, aren't always the marketing and sales oriented type people. They might be great graphic people, but they don't always know the right words or attention getting things. And they may not pay attention to things like putting a website URL or a phone number, depending on how you want to be contacted. Um, so I'm one of those people who's very detail oriented and I look through all the different things and I find what's missing. I find what could be enhanced and I show you how to do things better, whether it's with your website, your print materials, uh, you know, anything that you're doing online or offline and happy to have a conversation if this is you and you're trying to figure all this stuff out or even just a part of it. And you want to make sure that you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's and you are really looking good from the outside looking in to those people who have no idea who you are. So happy to have a conversation. Just go to askcat.biz. That's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. And uh, fill out a form and a questionnaire and you'll get taken to my online scheduler and you can do a free call with me and I'll overview and look what you're doing and give you some suggestions right on that call. But happy to talk if there's a way that I can help you, I will let you know. And uh, there's no reason not to do that, really. I mean, I don't bite you. I can't force you to buy anything. Um, it's just a helpful hand and I want to make sure you're not making mistakes and doing anything that's too expensive that you don't need to be doing. I love to really help people um, fine tune what they're doing in their lead generation, their marketing, their follow-up and their sales, as well as their website. Okay. Have a good day, you guys. And hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon.